Scotty reporting, how you doing? <laughs> In an effort to bring us new music, new music to light. You might, it's not actually new. The Moldy Peaches have been around for, but that was my music. That was that was in the uh, in the late nineties, right? Uh, when they kind of uh, broke through in the local scene here at the Sidewalk Cafe in New York. So let's talk about some subjects. Let's talk about some stuff here. We got uh, three hot subjects. Three three news worthy items or are they right so it's act uh 18 yellow vest act 18 you'll find out what's going on with the yellow vests brexit delay and creepy joe biden makes his entrance into the into the campaign let's talk about that stuff so here is the yellow vest let's check out some some footage compliments of russian television We're going strong, you know. I wonder if they're throwing shit bombs. It's like a war zone. Guy just got hit in the face with a shit bomb. You saw that? So it's still going strong, as you can see, right? It's fucking protesting away, the yellow vest, 18 weeks already. Wow, 18 weeks of yellow vest. I still believe. I, I mean, I'm not talking about it every day, but uh, I still believe in the yellow vest movement. There, see, they're taking some shit, man. Stones. Um, and, uh, you know, is it is it, it, it runs in line with... Nothing changes until you force the change, right? Macron and the French government are, are in bed with the oligarchy. They're not gonna they're not gonna yield, they're not gonna give in. Hey look, you want you want change? Yeah, it's some fucking water. We'll squirt you in the face with a, a water on a forty degree day a forty degree day. That's gonna be a problem as it warms up because a, a water hose on a, a water cannon on a ninety five degree day is a welcome. <laughs> They're holding their ground, man. Viva France. Right. They're not giving in. Right. So what else is going on in the uh, news? So keep going, man. So Brexit, right? <clears throat> Brexit. Um, as Brexit stalls, supporters protest betrayal of their dream. Right? They dreamed of a, of a separate England again for how many thousands of years? England is old. We think of the United States when it's only 250 years old, but England's, you know, three, four thousand years of, of proud history, right? They've survived. They're still in place, right? They've, you know, fended off enemies over time. But here we go. So Britain's departure from the uh, European Union likely to, likely to be put on hold. Some Brexit supporters fear their dream is dying. No, it is going to be put on hold. They're doing it. They don't have a deal, right? Theresa May failed, and the politicians are going to prolong. Why? Because they can, and they're going to push it back to June. That's the idea. Uh, you guys, you know, Britain's getting screwed, right? Uh, but they aren't giving up without a fight, or at least a long walk. Hardcore Brexit uh, leader, former UK Independent Party leader, Nigel Farage, um, set up Saturday on two-week uh, leave means leave means leave. 
Uh, that's that's the that's the voice of the people, and that's that should be the voice. It's like in this country with the bail the bank bailouts, right? You bail out the banks, and why? You're just prolonging the agony. Let them fall. Let them fall. And the same here with with uh, Brexit. England is throwing up the no 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 no. You can't leave. You can't leave without a deal. Right? How are we going to get paid? Right? Well, how are you going to get paid? You're going to get paid by by uh, figuring it out when the when the pieces fall, basically. Uh, so. The plan to finish a parliament in London by March 29th, the day the UK was supposed to leave, that deadline now looks unlikely, with British politicians deadlocked over departure terms. Lawmakers voted Thursday to seek a delay in Brexit until June 20, June 30th. So all of April, all of May, all of June. Three months, a 90-day delay. What's going to happen in 90 days? Absolutely nothing, right? If you haven't seen what's happening in Parliament this week, you may well not be le- leaving. You may, we may not be leaving the EU," said Brexit figurehead Farhe, who joined the protest dress dressed for a country walk in tweed cap and barbool jacket. If politicians think they can walk all over us, we're going to march back and tell them they can't. All right. So, a hundred or two hundred people, right? They have no deal. They have no. They also have, in my view, they don't have any intention of the the them the you know the politicians don't have any intention. They want to leave it intention of leaving. They want to leave it as it is. And so, so that's Brexit. Let's talk about Creepy Joe. This is I don't know who did this, man, but see it for yourself. Joe Biden dot info. Somebody put this up, man. I don't know if it's Joe or not. I have, but we'll find out. Uncle Joe is back and ready to take a hands-on approach to America's problems. This could, this sounds like this has got like Trump written all over it. <laughs> Fucking opposition opposition attack. <clears throat> and you know that that's that's what uh, that's going to be Trump's name for Joe Biden. Joe Biden's a shit sandwich. Joe Biden is a one percenter. He's never gotten more than one percent of the vote. He stands for nothing. Right? He has no policy. He's just a, he's just give me the money. Yeah, I'll be the president. What the hell? I got nothing else to do. I'm fucking old. I'm sitting here. He's got nothing else to do. I'll be president. You want to make me president? Go ahead. Make me president. So creepy Joe Biden. That'll be his name for, that'll be the name Trump gives him. I think he gets knocked out in the first, first two states and he's done. Uh, he's happy to be open and reveal himself to voters and will give, give a, a pounding to anyone who gets in his way. Look at some of these videos, man. Oh, damn. They got him depicted as a child, child molester, man. Shit. Oh, you creepy little Joe. <clears throat> Give me a kiss, little boy. Look at this, man. He's kissing this fucking kid on the... Kissing this kid on the mouth. Right? So that's how they're going to depict Joe Biden, a creepy child molester. Oh, uh, look. Look at this. Look, look at the one down in the right-hand corner. He's grabbing a, grabbing a little girl's chest. Is that real? Is he just senile? The girl pulls away. Hey, man, you got your fucking hand on my... You got your hand on my tit. He's a creepy dude, man. There's no doubt. Is he a child molester? No, he's probably just an old senile fuck with with has no no place in politics. Should not be should not be running for politics for, for elected office. Uh, Manish, 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 Manish. Oh, good Joe the racist. is Indian Americans moving from India. You cannot go to a 7-Eleven or a Dunkin' Donuts unless you have a slight Indian accent. So fully, I'm not joking. Oh, gigantic. Ah, uh, Mr. Gaff, the Gaff, the Gaff King. Is there a lot of a lot of Arabs and a lot of Indians that own 7-Elevens in New York? Yeah, they all do. So. You just had a, you know, I mean, you got the main, you got the first mainstream African American who was articulate and bright and clean and a nice looking guy. <laughs> That's what he said about, about Obama. Uh, so he's a fucking shit sandwich, man. He's, he ain't going anywhere. This is, this is going to be the attack, man. He's creepy. He's creepy. Okay. But he also stands for nothing. Guy will, the guy's a corporatist. You might as well, he's Hillary Clinton with a dick. You know, basically. 
Folks, I can tell you, I've known eight presidents, three of them intimately. Well, that's out of context. Intimately could be having a uh, conversation. So, should sandwich Joe Biden, man. He ain't going anywhere, man. It's just crazy. This is crazy, man. Oh, why are you here? You know what? D- become a Patreon. Uh, I got the I got the new stickers up. I see stickers, man. Fucking pow, ba 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 ba. And you can get these on eBay, right? And um, you could uh, do that. You get go go to eBay and get some stickers, or become a Patreon. I'm looking for. We need to get three hundred strong. Three hundred, three hundred warriors. This number Patreon needs to become three hundred. Even as little as a dollar. If you do it, if you sign up, I'll send you a bunch. Just make sure you put your address down. I'll graciously send you a pile of stickers, right? And you become part of the part of the troop, right? The 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 you know Spartans, right? So, uh, well, that's really it. I mean, it's three interesting stories. Brexit. It doesn't look it looks like it's going to be. I I highly doubt that they'll do the sloppy exit. But the people voted, and the people have spoken, so you need to exit Brexit. And, uh, you know, yellow vest still going strong. France France is rising, and uh, Creepy Joe running for president. Marcus Conti reporting.